Prepare for an exhilarating journey into the realm of extraterrestrial mysteries as we delve into Joe Rogan's captivating discussions on aliens. From probing conversations with a former CIA agent to mind-blowing UFO news reviews, we'll unravel the enigmatic universe alongside Rogan. Brace yourself for an electrifying exploration that will challenge your perceptions and ignite a quest for cosmic truths. Welcome to the thrilling world of Joe Rogan's Alien Encounters. Hold onto your seats, for behind the veiled curtains of secrecy lies a world where truth dances with the stars. The enigmatic realm of UFOs beckons, and within it, the agency's clandestine mandate to shield sources and methods from prying eyes. A need to no issue cloaked in intrigue where the line blurs between technological marvels and hidden advancements. Witness the whispers of hypersonic aircraft, their existence crucial for national security as a cutthroat competition unfolds for dominion over the cosmos. I'm happy that, that uh, when it comes to UFOs, there's a lot of things that the agency needs to keep you know, uh, off the radar, right? for so? sources and methods, right? It's a need to know issue, and there's no reason why we shouldn't unless you are talking about developmental aircraft as an example, right? right? Which is important because when you're talking about hypersonic aircraft or, or missiles or whatever it is, there's some stuff that needs to be kept off the off the radar screen uh, because there is a, a tremendous competition going on right now for particularly for things like control of space. That's right. frankly, um, you know, there is a race to figure out how to weaponize space. In the realm of infinite possibilities, a tantalizing question emerges. What if beings from beyond our wildest imaginations descend upon us, bearing gifts of unimaginable technology? Yet, in the face of such cosmic marvels, we find ourselves pondering their intentions. What grand design do these enigmatic visitors have in store for us mere mortals? The mystery unravels leaving us to wonder what extraordinary purpose lies behind their celestial voyage to our humble abode. I think it's a, it's a high possibility that, uh, that, that there's, yes, I, I, I do think that, but at the same time, then I also question uh, sort of the, the way that, that's great, if, if some alien life force with amazing technology that we can't even fathom right now comes to visit us, then what the hell are they doing? Hidden in the shadows of government corridors and shielded by veils of secrecy, a staggering revelation awaits. The former head of Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid unveils a truth shrouded in darkness, a truth that eludes even the most powerful individuals, including the President of the United States. The evidence, concealed from public gaze, whispers of otherworldly encounters and clandestine knowledge. As the layers of deception are peeled away, a web of resistance and intrigue emerges, leaving us on the precipice of a paradigm, shifting revelation that challenges our very perception of reality. This is the former head of, you know, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid saying that the vast majority of evidence hasn't seen the light of day. And if the President of the United States can't get access to it, as I found out when I interviewed all the people around President uh, Clinton, uh, who can? One yes. in some position of government or some intelligence agency, someone in the Pentagon, someone or some group at the highest level of clearance has access to this information and knows about it. I don't know, Reed said they uncovered all this stuff during the program, and he said the level of resistance that he got from the intelligence agencies was insane. In a whirlwind of astounding revelations, the veil of secrecy begins to unravel, exposing breathtaking encounters that defy comprehension. The captivating narrative unfurls as two awe-inspiring incidents meticulously captured by us Navy carrier pilots are unveiled to the public. One, a jaw, dropping photograph revealing a colossal triangular entity ascending from the depths of the ocean, defying gravity itself. 
The pilots, driven by an insatiable quest for truth, demand the release of these irrefutable images, urging the world to bear witness to the extraordinary. Yet, the government's silence persists, clinging tightly to their secrets, leaving us to ponder the significance of this enigma and the hidden dimensions it conceals. In the last uh, 48 hours, the public has learned of two stunning incidents captured on film by U.S. Navy carrier pilots earlier this year. The other incident produced a stunning detailed photograph of a massive triangular shaped vehicle that emerged from the ocean and flew vertically straight up and out of sight just past a Navy F-18 operating off the U.S. Uh, aircraft carrier. These iPhone photos taken by the pilots should be released to the public as there are no sources and methods to protect and the national security benefits of raising awareness regarding this issue vastly outweigh any conceivable benefit from concealing the information. The government's, we, we got the story, I think it was yesterday, and the government is refusing to release these photographs. The pilots want these photographs released. In a chilling encounter under the twilight sky, a family's peaceful evening in Yonkers takes an extraordinary turn. As the cries for attention pierce the air, a skeptical father emerges to witness a sight that defies all logic. A flying saucer, bathed in a mysterious blue aura, hovers within reach. Portals reveal secrets within, but silence reigns supreme. Time itself warps and bends, heightening the sense of unease. The father contemplates the unthinkable, to shoot or not to shoot, for fear of telepathic intrusion. Moments pass, perceptions shift, and in the blink of an eye, the otherworldly craft transforms into a distant star, the memory forever etched in his mind, echoing through the ages, a testament to an inexplicable encounter that defies explanation. Tell me the UFO story. In 73, my mother is pregnant with my older brother, Christian. Uh, he's five years older than me. Okay, so uh, she's pregnant with him. They're outside in Yonkers. There's a little grass lot. And my aunt, grandmother, and mother are out there, and they're screaming, Tommy, you got to come out here. You got to come out here. So the way my father tells the story, he goes, I'm watching TV. You know, I don't want to be bothered. He goes, I go outside, and he said, Paul, he said, sitting where I could throw a rock or shoot my gun at it. There is and the way he, he, he said flying saucer, which is hilarious. He goes, flying saucer, he said it's got a blue tint around it, little portholes, but he could barely see, quiet, quiet as can be. And he said they were all, and he said the time was weird, the time of night was weird. It was like that weird time where the sun's going down, you don't know. He said the timing of it was weird, and he said his time perception during it was, was very, something was off with the time. And he said, he thought, he said, quack, quack, shoot my gun at this thing. But then he goes, he goes, then I freaked out because I don't know if this thing's reading my quack. mind. So I went inside because <laughs> he thought that it might have been. So he went inside. He looked again. He went outside. They looked at it. They were stunned. And he said, and like that, it turned into a dot in the sky. Uh, he said, like that, it turned into a star like that. And he says to this day, exactly the same. Prepare to question your perception of reality as renowned physicist Michio Kaku unravels the enigma of optical illusions. Imagine an object gracefully gliding before your eyes, seemingly at mind-boggling speeds, only to discover it's a mere weather balloon. But here's the twist. Wind patterns hold the key. These mysterious sightings defy the very laws of nature as they boldly venture against the direction of the wind. These are no ordinary weather balloons fused with imagination. These are anomalous objects challenging our understanding of the universe. Now, if they are a optical illusion, um, if an object were to move in front of your eyes, traveling at a very slow velocity, but you don't know how far they are away, you may think that object is very far away from you, traveling at enormous velocities. So a weather balloon drifting in front of your eyes can simulate an object traveling at hypersonic velocities if you think that weather balloon is far away from you. Hmm. So how do you tell the difference? 
Well, you look at wind patterns. It turns out that many of these sightings, these objects defy the direction of the wind. If they are weather balloons that you confuse with a flying saucer, uh, then they would be moving with the direction of the wind. But these objects do not do that. These objects can go against the direction of the wind. The tides of belief are shifting as the New York Times boldly proclaims the reality of extraordinary encounters. With undeniable video evidence that demands attention, the narrative can no longer be dismissed. Imagine engaging with high-level government officials and esteemed figures like Commander David Fravor, who himself witnessed the enigmatic spectacle off the San Diego coast. The conversation is evolving and it's captivating to witness the transformation. No longer are these sightings mere whispers between individuals. They have transcended to the realm of multiple credible witnesses. The gold standard has been set with a convergence of evidence from radar, visual confirmation, infrared sensors, and telescopic revelations. Because when the New York Times is reporting about it and saying that this is major news and this is real and there's video evidence that they can't ignore when you talk to high-level people at the government and people like Commander David Fravor who had that infamous uh, spotting off of the coast of San Diego. When you hear about people like that that are very reputable, it starts to change the conversation in a lot of people's eyes. Right. See, it used to be that one person would see something in the sky and say, look, Martha, look, there's something up there. Now things have changed. Now we have multiple sightings by multiple modes. That is the gold standard, the gold standard for looking for these objects. Not just one person, but several people that are reputable. Not just radar, but visual sighting, infrared sensors, uh, telescopic evidence. What were once mysterious objects in the sky are now revealing their secrets. Brace yourself for the revelation. These awe-inspiring phenomena may be drones of unparalleled capabilities. Imagine the sheer audacity as they plunge an astonishing 70,000 feet in mere seconds, defying the laws of physics as we know them. But wait, it gets even more astonishing. These enigmatic entities possess the power to descend into the depths of the ocean defying our preconceptions of their nature. And here's the kicker. They maneuver effortlessly, leaving no exhaust trace, and silently defy the sound barrier. So they're probably drones of some sort. These objects can drop 70,000 feet in a few seconds. Think about that. It can drop a tremendous distance in just a few seconds, and they can go underwater. This is something that we didn't realize before, but yes, they can actually go underwater. And they also move without creating an exhaust or breaking the sound barrier. So these are things that we can now document frame by frame looking at these videotapes.